Hey, what's up guys? Matt Arroyo here at Grace Table South. I'm going to show you today one of my favorite sweeps in the gi. All right, it's called the flower sweep. And here it goes. It's from the closed guard, which I know a lot of people don't use closed guard anymore. But when you learn this move, you're going to want to use it more because this is super high percentage. I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. And now I'm going to show you how to make it work against a good guy. All right? Step by step. If I want to sweep him to the left, I grab his left, left side sleeve, his right arm. You can go pistol grip or you can go fingers in grip. It's up to you. The other hand goes to the opposite leg. Don't put your fingers like this. It's illegal in most tournaments and you can break your finger. Just grip it. You make a fist. I get these two grips. My next step, the side of the hand I have where I'm going to sweep him, I put my foot to the floor next to his calf ankle area so that he can't base out. Okay, just for that one split second I need, he can't base out. This hand, I'm going to pin it to my body. I'm not going to let him base. I'm going to pin it to my body and I'm going to drop my foot. When I'm ready, my leg is going to straighten. I'm going to kind of bring him up a little bit with it, kind of like bring him into me a tad, and then I'm going to just kick him over past the center line. Right there, once he's past the center line, pretty much my hand's going to do the rest. I lift up his foot and his shoulder hits the mat. Once his shoulder hits the mat, it's going to be a scramble here. He's going to try to drive right back into me. I'm going to try to get up to the mount. The only way he's going to get back into me is if I don't have a good grip on this wrist. If I let go too soon, he's going to use it to get back on top. So again, wrist, ankle, footstep, and then I explode, I blast it with my leg, and once I break the tip of foot, I use my hand to do the rest. But I want to bring him a little bit over me first. And then once I'm here, I have his wrist nice and tight, he tries to get up. I just use my elbow right here and just push myself right to mount. And we end up at mount. Okay? First grip, he's not too worried. You usually need two grips to sweep, so if I went here and maybe pop it, he'd be worried. Other grip, right now if I were to do it the way I'm showing you, he would break one of these grips. He knows it's coming. That's why I'm going to show you how to do it next, without him knowing. Foot steps next to the ankle, this foot kicks straight, brings him into me just a little bit. Again, you just want his butt to come off his heels. Once it does, I'm going to kick him to the left, lift his shoulder, I'm sorry, lift his leg so that his shoulder hits, and then use the rest of my body to bring him over. Now I'm on my elbow. I still don't let go of either, because he can still drive into me from here, if he's explosive enough. So now, I use my elbow and my hip and my knee, I get onto my knee. Now I can let go. Or you can try to pin this across his body and start going for different things. All right, now, here's how you get it on someone good. That's how you do it, step by step, detail by detail. But now I grab the sleeve, and I only touch his leg when I'm ready to go. So it looks like this. He has no time to react to break a grip because you're only grabbing it when you're ready to go. You're already pushing him off base. If you were to stop that, he'd be pretty slick. He would really understand this. So one, messing around with the switch. This hand's gonna float, float, float the base, boom. Once I grab it, my legs are already open, I'm already kicking him. So don't touch the leg till you're ready to go. That's the trick. And explode everything you have. Push him forward, like towards your head, then over his shoulder, climb up the mount. Okay, if he starts pushing back into you, push him back into me, push him back in. Maybe I can somehow you know, get a triangle, I can end up in a good position for a plata. That's your backup plan, but you really want the sweep. So one, two, only do it when you're ready to go. Three. That's the flower sweep from the closed guard. Try it tonight, tomorrow. Guarantee it works.